Hi, I welcome you all to this session on personal administrations. In the last sessions, we have created created hiring as an actions, and also we have also created that reasons for actions. In this sessions, we are going to see a few more configurations, followed by that uh, how this uh, actions that is configured now, uh, especially that hiring as an action, how does it look? in the end user interface we are going to see so we'll go for spro okay we will go for this sap reference img then uh, uh, we will go for personal administrations personal administrations Pers personal management under that you will get personal administrations personal administrations then customizing procedures customizing procedures yes just a second Let's see okay so customizing procedures then we will uh, customizing procedures Personal administration, then customizing procedures. Okay. Then we we'll look for actions. We we'll look for actions. Then this set of personal actions. Yes, so we will check now whether the that actions that we have created whether it is appearing or not. We will look for personal actions type that was coded as CS. Okay. So we will see yes it is appearing now. Okay. Then fine. Then we will go back. Okay. Then we will see change action menu. Change action menu. So change action menu, then we will go for action menu, then menu will write here as one. Okay. Yeah. We can, otherwise you can see the drop down. This is this is one for actions. So we can select add this, then we can so this is now actions. So now we can check. Uh, we can check the availability in user group 00. zero. So the number that we are going to see that should not be there in the user group. So user group we have uh, configured as 00. zero. Okay. So number we will see what is 1. Suppose take for example what is not there we will see. 0 0 actions so user group 0 0 we will see suppose take for example 56 is already there so we will take it as take for example what is missing 0 1 2 3 is missing okay 3 is missing so number 3 we can write as 0 3 0 3 is missing so we can write we can select this then we can go for positions we can go for uh, zero zero okay here if this is the uh, in that uh, i have printed so we will write it as then we can create new entry so here we will write like 0, 0 is the action group then we will write the number 0, 3 okay actions we can write as we are higher sorry 
this is so hiring we can see actions okay so then we can put as entrance we, we can save it okay so we can continue with this okay so now we have that added the entries let us create a new sessions okay then pa40 pa40 this is for to maintain a two pop it is for personal actions okay so then the hiring resident and uh, we will go back s u 01 So SU01 will write this is my user. Okay, this is my user because uh, somebody has uh, configured this already. He is uh, whatever he has created, it is appearing. Therefore, I will write my user. So my user was let us see like this is my user S4 HR13. So we will look for like this is not just clear s four or we can see this sorry s four h r thirteen yes this is my user then we can put on change so then parameter in parameter what we will do we will write it as u g r then 0 0 parameter value then we can save it ok this has been changed create a new sessions you can go for PA 40 now it is appearing now we can select this and select this then interpret ok so personal number let us keep it blank ok then we can write it start like 01 03 this is then hiring is an action so let us say expansion this i have created this like expansion sign right okay reference reference so i will write a positions here so one positions that let, let us let me check the this one positions i will see from the excel i will bring I will see that I will just uh, create uh, 
one position entry i will just i will make this is the positions like position id of uh, uh, hr managers hr manager like 1888 will create this okay so i will write 5000 1888 okay. so employee area we'll see the employee area that i have created okay i have created so employee area we will create for i have created for let us let us refer to the excel sheets employee area that uh, this is this personal area this is personal area personal area for we'll put it as mu99 where hr department is also there mu99 this is one employee the employee group one employee group we'll create we'll check the employee group employee group employee group we have created that is one employee group we have created like as i remember this uh, for o we have created one o employee group o uh, o for active q for inactive we have created the personal sub area we have created mu 99 Person, person, sorry, personal sub group okay we can see drop downs yes <coughs> we can uh, put it as that this is active o for active didn't come yes we can enter not available from the start of input type record yes uh, there is some issue with the date therefore because it is uh, actually the starting date it was created on 2222 therefore this issue is coming let us see still 